Hello, my name is Fuzzy Cocos, and welcome to the island, my friend. In today's episode of the survival series, we are gonna keep going where we left off. Uh, we had just built um, our different weaponry, so we had just been done with the blade axe. We were able to craft an obsidian axe, the blade axe, the metal spears, and now we have the metal arrows. I know that we're heavy. But we're not going to be needing anything else, really, uh, for for our investigation or our exploring purposes. So, with this in mind, we're going to keep moving. Um, I am going to get into combat here. Uh, I'm going to attack two villages that are going to be to our east. Yeah, around the east. So we're going to attack two uh, villages. And then um, I'm going to get a little bit into combat and how to effectively uh, fight multiple enemies. Um, I will say it is tough. Don't get me wrong. If you're fighting two to three people, it is tough. Um, but there's ways that you can do it. And I'm going to show you those ways. And then from there, we're going to keep going with uh, the exploration. And we're going to go down the elevator over here to the north and we're gonna see what we can get from from that area so yeah let's let's get into it and have some fun okay we're pretty much ready um one thing you're gonna learn or gonna have to learn to cope with during this dry season is your plantations and this is another reason why i like to carry the biden um usually with the rain your plantations would hydrate themselves with the rain but in this case it's not raining anymore so they need water so i know this might be a long tedious process but i don't know how long we're gonna be gone for and so we gotta make sure that at least they're somewhat hydrated so that whenever we do return they're not dead all right let's get this show on the road now i'm pretty heavy already um i wasn't able to uh craft this one so i'm gonna see if I, we can find a parrot because i need more feathers uh dead parrot along the way or something we can kill but i am bringing three leaf bandages two tobacco dressing bandages a two lily dressing for rashes and the goliath dressing i have the ants in case we encounter a jaguar and they inflict a heavy heavy wound on us or a deep wound on us i have the fish phones in case we pass out and we have some worms inside our body um animal droppings in case we do end up cre uh, creating a plantation the campfire ash this is not really necessary but it's not heavy either so um i have the charcoal i have a total of eight metal arrows and um uh, i brought along two dried meats two bananas we have the water lily the painkillers the biden that i'm gonna fill with pure water right now and of course this one over here so yeah i think we're pretty ready to uh hit the natives so let's let's uh get on our way and see how we do Okay, here's the camp. So a couple of things. If you crouch in this way, they're not going to be able to hear you and you're going to be able to get fairly close to them. Now, there's several of them. So if you manage to hit someone on the head, you're not going to alert the rest of them. If we do, that's okay. I'll show you how we can fight them. Right, so that's one the rest were not alerted but i gotta see where they are so he's there i don't know if he's gonna see me i'll just take a chance with it all right we didn't kill him oh no that arrow oh no okay so now you hit space so every time they try to approach you you hit space and you move away from them just as they did I'm about to attack or confront two of them. Oh, I don't know what that was. Alright, so we got that guy. 
Damn it. That guy's shooting at us with an arrow. Let's rest real quick. Did he go back to his ways? No. Oh, he's still attacking us. Alright, so let's let's get close to him. He's attempting to run away. That's okay. Alright, there we go. So it wasn't the best. I did lose a couple of arrows. I'm going to see if we can find them. Um, you usually want to harvest the hunter because they carry feathers. As of right now, I don't really need feathers, so I'm okay with that. Our armor held up pretty good. Um, that's, that's the only reason why we received a couple of hits. And although we took some damage, we're still standing. Um, let me see if I can find the arrows I might have lost... Oh, there's another one. Nice. Uh, I think I lost just one arrow. It doesn't always happen, but it can happen. So it's good that you have different arrows in case something like that those does happen. But anyways, um, in this camp we found this weapon rack. Uh, I did walk right through it and I must have discovered it. Uh, but if we go to our... Our notebook, we're going to see here somewhere, weapon rack. So you can place your weapons in here if you have more than you need. So that's always useful. Um, what else? Inside of this tent, there's campfire ash. This is really useful, a tribal fire starter. So this is another way of starting fire instead of using the two sticks that we regularly use, the hand drill. Now we have a tribal fire starter. It's faster, consumes less stamina, so we definitely want to keep that one and we'll throw that other one away. You'll notice also that our weight is quite, we're quite heavy, but we have everything that we need. We're not going to need anything or to pick up anything really unless we dis discover some new things. Um, but yeah, we're pretty set. We don't, we don't really need to pick up anything at all. Uh, what else is in here? A stick blade, a plank, some big stones uh spoiled bananas uh let's see inside the tent here oh can I go here one of these blue mushrooms i'll take one why not more campfire ash and i think that's it yep so that's it for this camp uh i am gonna move along to the next one the next one is gonna be somewhere around here and then we're going to move on to the elevator. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to get into the elevator. But I will attack the other camp. I'll go over the little quick basics of combat once again. Oh, this is a really nice find actually. This is a snare trap. It's right outside, uh, outside the elevator. Um, this is pretty much works like the spike trap, uh, or the killer trap, but this one actually pulls them up. So, um, let me see. Cost-wise, this one's four locks. This one's only two. Rope eight, stick two. Um, they're about the same. This might buy, this one might be a little bit cheaper, uh, because you only need two locks instead of four. But yep, just another trap to have in your inventory. Alright, there's the cat. I'm gonna try and kill him while we have sunlight so you guys can see. Uh, there's one. I'm gonna try to get a little bit closer to him. So we don't miss like we did last time. Uh, there we go, that's one. It appears that there's only two in this camp. Yeah, where's the other guy? Oh, there's three, okay. So now we only have that guy left. 
All right, there we go. So he didn't die. That's that's fine. I actually wanted to combat him. This way. Right behind this. Oh, he died. Okay, so he bled to death. Awesome. So let's get our arrows. Ah, there we go. So we have another tribal fire starter here. Um, I don't think that we had discovered this, but it's a bamboo smoker. Maybe we did before. Uh, or it's a smoker. There we go. So we have that smoker. Let's see what's inside of here. We have a bone knife. All right, and we have finally made it back to the elevator. Um, I did have to go back to the base and save, not save, uh, but drop some stuff off and wait for the night uh, to pass so that we can see this clearly. So let's find out what this does. Um, let's put this oil in here. There we go, that's on. So let's see where it leads. Alright, there we go. So, just for reference, we are right here. So, this is the area that we're about to discover. Oh, wow. What is that? Mia, you're not gonna believe A gold this. mine? Looks like I found an illegal gold mine. The jungle is full of surprises. Anything of interest there? I'll let you know. This is awesome. That pipe leads over here. Got that ugly looking mushroom there. Let's see what else we have here. Ooh, a grappling hook. Hey, just what we needed. Notes. Let's see what this says. $30, 25 sick, didn't find anything, didn't get anything, sick, no cash. I am guess it's a pay ledger of sorts. Beef jerky, ah, don't really need it, not gonna save either. What's this? Got a new pump doing 60 buckets per head, and got 150 grams in 3 days, pile of gold. 60 buckets per head, or 60, 75, started going up, 100 buckets. A hundred buckets. There ain't nothing. Two men down, poisoning. Everybody's sick, malaria. Machines down, everybody's dead. Oh, wow. What a turn of events. I met with the tribe. I am now at the circle. It's in the blood. Children. The children are the key. Do you copy? Oh, so that's... Ooh, hey, hey, hey. there you go gold sack on a lighter note i did find a pouch of gold but we found this little place and we can see that there's blood all over sort of looks like they were trying to transfer some blood of sorts <sighs> looks like oh was i wasn't too far off blood transfusion here okay so we found a bunch of bags with Beef jerky and nuts and all that. I don't really need it, so I'm not going to take it. Um, if you want a source of food that's not going to expire, um, it might be a good idea for you to take it. I personally don't like it because it takes a whole bunch of space. Um, and if it's not a can, I'm not really interested. Um, so, yeah, I'm, good. I'm just going to keep browsing and see what's uh, over here. Uh, that would be the north, northeast, so around this area see if there's anything else that we can find around here is it oh man oh fuck pistols and machine guns if we are together but I can't reach them the padlock won't open there are sick people in the camp 
potential epidemic or epidemic outbreak freak of dead bodies they injected me with something i threw up corona uh, i need teresita isabelle's getting worse so they all ended up dying unfortunately I did browse around, and this is the only thing that we could find in this camp. Uh, so the main takeaways from this place, or the gold mine, is of course the grappling hook. That's what we're going to need to go into this area, Lampa 2, and find out what is over here. And of course, we found gold. Now, the one thing about this gold sack, uh, you cannot use it anywhere really but if you complete the game or um if you get to the ending with this gold sack in your inventory you receive uh, an achievement so that's that's pretty much the only thing that the gold does as you can see it weighs only about a pound if we're going by pounds or maybe it's kilograms but this weighs about a pound um so it's not too heavy if you want to get the achievement, might as well just carry it with you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to camp. Um, it is sort of getting late, uh, starting to, so it's it's not going to be long before it gets dark. And then I'm going to resume the video once I am in the Lambda 2 location, and we'll take it from there. Oh, no. Wait, is that a jaguar or a freaking tiger? That thing is massive. Well, hopefully we can take it on. One tip, do not run. You have to stay steady. And I know, no, it's, it is a Jaguar. Oh, it, it wasn't a headshot. Ah, there we go. It was a headshot. Okay, okay, good. Oh, that thing freaking scared the hell out of me. Oh my God. Man, even my hairs went up. What the hell? We have reached the Lambda 2 location. So let's find, let's use our newly found grappling hook. All right. We have a bamboo field. And we have a set of stones. All right. Mia, I found the Lambda location, and it looks nothing like our tent. Okay, so as you might have figured out, we need to drink Java Waska one more time. So let's create the fire. And we are ready. So let's enjoy the cinematic and see what happens.
Is this my office? The book was quite good, but people aren't interested in lost tribes, deforestation, or global warming. We don't think about such things until it's too late. themselves until tragedy strikes. People just don't care. It wasn't any different this time. No one took an interest in them, unless there was some money to be made. You think I'm selfish just like everyone else, don't you? Maybe you're right. Maybe I should have just given up. What happened? Why are you here? I know what drove us. But it doesn't justify anything. If not for me, you wouldn't have to go back to the jungle. Thank you for watching, subscribe to see more walkthroughs every Friday, keep smiling and until next time Islanders.